and PrisonPlanet.com. I'm going to run through some more of your calls, and I'm going to get into some of the news. White House fence jumper on psychiatric drugs was on psychiatric drugs. Ebola efforts in a state of complete chaos. Special report we're going to be airing. Pentagon sites, a new terror threat as ISIS war gets underway. And as ISIS says, they will now attack America. That wasn't hard to predict. And no politician will get in trouble, I guess, when they come right across the border and do it or fly in. No, we'll just lose more freedoms. And they'll, they'll call the politicians heroes that funded ISIS. That's what a zombie population gets, I guess. Uh, Obama ignores Constitution again to launch Syria attack with no legal basis. Paul Joseph Watson's article. A detailed RT report with video of what happened uh, with the bombing uh, in Syria. And uh, we're also going to get into a whole bunch of other stories that have been breaking up there on the site as well. Like, remind me, guys, to cover the Peter Thiel uh, piece from Endgame. That is absolutely uh, essential to get that done. Now, uh, before I go any further uh, to your phone calls, I believe in symbiotic relationships. I believe in win-win. What's that arrhythmic song? Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. Well, no, not me. I like to give pleasure and to receive pleasure. I like to give hospitality and receive hospitality. I like to give knowledge. I like to receive knowledge. That's how the universe is supposed to work. And I always thought everybody else was like me. No, a lot of people, not a majority, but a large minority, think it's cool to cheat people and cool to get ahead running scams. Long term, that doesn't ever work. Plus, it's not fulfilling. My dad would always tell me, son, there are people that would rather kill you for a dollar than make a million dollars with you. There are people that would rather steal a dollar from you than make a thousand dollars with you. And I'd say, Really? Now, a lot of it is because they never had success doing things the honorable way, so they don't believe it exists. They believe dishonor and treachery uh, is the ether in which they have success, is the atmosphere in which they live, is the sustenance of their very being. But when I promote something, it's not just because it brings money in here and funds my operation, which is the key to what I want to do. I want to wake people up. I want to expose tyranny. I want people to know that the vaccines don't protect them most of the time and are filled with all sorts of horrible stuff and have horrible side effects. And in many cases, things are added on purpose to reduce your fertility or give you cancer down the road. And that's all been declassified. So for heaven's sakes, please look it up. But in a win-win, I want to... But see, a win-win doesn't just do the right thing morally... It also ends up making you more money because people then come back and buy more products from you because they're the best. It's like the Ford Raptor came out six years ago, won all these big desert Sahara races. And so then everybody wanted them. They started becoming commercially available five years ago. I got one almost three years ago. And now they're everywhere because... They were the best truck. Now Chevy's coming out with one, the Recon. They're saying it'll be even better for off-road and stuff. See, produce quality, produce the best, then everyone will want it. If it's affordable, especially. Like a souped-up Ford F-150, that's all it is. It's great to be able to pull a boat up a mountain. It's great to be able to drive up incredible inclines. And believe me, I mean, I grew up with my dad with Land Cruisers and stuff. It's a, and Jeeps, you name it. Raptor is amazing. But I'm not doing a Ford plug here that they're not a sponsor, though they should be. <sighs> the product's so good, they don't need to even advertise it. See, that's the same thing. I went to experts, top formulators, and I said, I want the best system to flush out the guts. I want the best iodine. I can't take this other stuff. I want the best male and female vitality, cold press, concentrated, the strongest thing out there that's the safest, that doesn't mimic testosterone, but that gets the body to release it. 
I want the best. And we go to these major, even respected big, you know, formulators and, and, and companies that are out there. And, and we say to them, yeah, we're going to put this much ingredients in these eye pills. And they go, really? That's about three times what anybody else has ever done. You know, it's an expensive formula. If it costs you $6 a bottle uh, and you sell it for 30, you know, you're going to spend $14 a bottle and sell it for 30. Okay. That's new in the industry. Oh, you're going to spend $17, $18 on a bottle of something and sell it for 40. That's new. You're going to spend 60 something dollars on something and sell it for 130. That's new. See, that's shaking up the entire nutraceutical system. I can't even believe, just from, a, just from a business standpoint, you'd want to sell lower, the highest quality, to dominate the market. But just my instinct to want to give people a good deal while also funding our operation, it has a decent markup in there. We're free market. It's just amazing how the average person has no business sense, nothing, even business people. It's amazing. And so this isn't even a plug for products here so much as it is about my philosophy. I love telling people the truth. I love trying to figure out what's really going on. I love being accurate. I love having freedom. <clears throat> and that's what I want back. So that's what I give out. So when you get a Pro Pure G2 or the clearly filtered filters, from my research, they're the best gravity fed filters out there. We have the, the third party top labs, the testing to show it side by side, destroys the competition. Clearly filtered, Pro Pure G2s. Discounted 10% promo code water. It's the lowest price out there. Highest quality, lowest price. Infowarsstore.com, infowarslife.com to find the supplements or 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. And for a limited time, when you get any of the ProPure G2 systems or any of their systems, you get, what is it, 10 free I forget the exact offer. Click on that. Two plus two equals four Infowars.com bumper stickers. And this is the type of, um, yeah, it's 10 free. My memory serves. 10 free Infowars, two plus two equals four Infowars.com bumper stickers that are guaranteed on your lunchbox or on your book bag or on your car. People will ask you, what does that mean? Well, it, people ask, what does the answer to 1984 equals 1776 mean? It means... The answer to 1984 is 1776. It means the 1984 dystopia, the answer to it is 1776. What's hard to understand about that? We got little Minutemen card decals, little happy smiley face patriot with a, with a rifle. You know, I saw this morning driving into work, not one, not two, but three, and I haven't seen this in a while, C pickup trucks with, with rifles. One was a shotgun, one was an AR-15, one was a deer rifle. It's like a Remington 700, synthetic black stock, driving down Mopac. And I thought that was just beautiful because just 20, 30 years ago, you saw that everywhere, but people would call the cops. So, so the cops would come and pull you over and harass you so you wouldn't do it. But now because of open carry, they're trying to act like guns are illegal, create that perception so they can then ban them. No, we're openly marching to the Alamo when the police say they'll arrest us when their law is in violation of state law and they back down because they knew what they were doing was wrong. That was a civil rights march for everybody. Not to hate the police, they're implementing a criminal city council's operation in the deep in the heart of Texas and we're not putting up with it. And they had women all over the state of Texas. I saw it in the paper, March yesterday. I saw that all over the state of Texas, Houston, San Antonio, you name it, women marched with their guns. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. All right, let's go to your phone calls. Damien in Arizona, thanks for holding. Yeah, how you doing, Alex? I'd like to uh, address the whole uh, ISIS and uh, caliphate thing in terms of uh, Joe Farah of uh, World Net Daily. Um, you know how they always said uh, terrorism is a tactic and you can't beat a, a verb or you know, a noun or whatever. So now, I mean, conveniently, they... Name it a state. So it's a terrorist state. So now they actually have a, a geopolitical reason to specifically attack it as a physical entity. So I think it's a little bit of a coup in their PR department. And then they can say that the Islamic State has gone to any country they want to attack. 
Exactly. So now it's an actual, it's, it's a literal boogeyman. Before, you know, terrorist terrorism is like, you know, some nebulous, arbitrary thing. Now it's a physical thing. But uh, I'd like to address uh, Joe Fair. I, I love his site on a lot of this stuff. But your initial instinct, I believe, is right. There's a reason why I always end up coming back to your site. Because there are people who specialize in, you know, minutia of, like, domestic or foreign issues, but you do a very good meta. And partly, as much as I love his uh, geopolitical acumen, the guy, when it comes to economics, he's, you know, frankly, a commie. I mean, let's face it. He's a Hamiltonian American school, specifically, but he's, a, you know, he still likes to say. But when it comes to Joe Farah, I love all this stuff in terms of domestic stuff, but this whole caliphate thing is really overblown because you know that New World Order uses this as a tool. So... Just because 